what a beautiful day you know in february it's rare that we get four or five consecutive days which are really warm and beautiful maybe i've just forgotten but you know what it's a beautiful day For so many years, there's never been a product that would allow us to do sales funnels easily on WordPress until now. So what makes Cutflows exciting is you can do order bumps, upsells, downsells, and much more. Now, when I check the Cutflows uh, website, it say that you can have your sales funnels up and running in less than 20 minutes. Hmm, 20 minutes. So 20 minutes, it's a very short time to create a funnel. Let's see if we can get this funnel in 20 minutes. To set up our sales funnels, we need to start by adding all our plugins that we need. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to install WooCommerce. So I'm gonna come over here to plugins, add new, and I'm gonna search for my WooCommerce plugin. And by the way, this one is free. You see, this is what happens when you try and type fast to try and beat the clock. All right, so no pressure here. I'm gonna click here on install now. So this is now installing. So I've also got my page here open for cart flows. So when you first purchase cart flows, you'll get a control panel like this. So uh, if you go to API keys, and this is very important, it shows you where you've installed cart flows. And over here, this is where they have the API key. So I'm just gonna copy my API key because I'm going to need this when I install cart flows. So the next thing you wanna do is to come over here to download. So this is where you get to download your latest uh, plugins. So I'm gonna come over here, click on download. And by the way, you're gonna need two of these, okay? So the first one is just the normal cut flows, but in order for you to create all your sales funnels, you're going to need Cardflows Pro. So I'm gonna click here on download. So now I have two of them downloading here on my computer. Great, so over here, let's see how things are going. So we have uh, WooCommerce installed. I'm gonna click on activate. So this is gonna activate my WooCommerce plugin. Okay, so now that I have it all set up, the next thing to do here is to set up my next two plugins, the cut flows. So I'm gonna click here on add new. I'm gonna start here by clicking Upload Plugin, Choose File, and I am going to go to my Downloads folder. So I'm gonna start with the normal cut flows, double click on that, click Install, great. Next, click on Activate. Right, let's install the next one. Click on Add New, Upload Plugin, Choose, and then Install the Cut Flows Pro. Okay, so now that I've um, added it onto my computer. All I have to do now is to click on activate. Okay, so what's the next thing now? So if we go to our website here and let's visit the uh, the normal website. Let me just show you what it looks like. So this is just a normal blog. I haven't done anything, you know, crazy to this. So if you're if you have an existing WordPress website, this is ideal because it just works on top of what you already have. Okay, so back over here to my dashboard. The next thing I'm going to do now is to set up uh cut flow. So I'm going to come over here, settings, so this is where you want to check uh, to uh, add your theme. So if you use Elementor, you have to come over here and make sure you choose Elementor. But in my case, I use Divi. That's my preferred page builder. And by the way, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to the Divi Blueprint 3 course, which will show you and teach you everything that you need to know about building professional websites. All right, so with that said, I'm gonna come over here and click on Save Changes. Next, you wanna come over here to WooCommerce and uh, click on settings. So again, this is quite important. You just need to go through all these steps. So over here, you need to add your store address on the products here. This is where you specify which page you want your shop to be. But this is not all important. The most important part here is the payments. So if you come over here, you can see here we have PayPal. So you can set up PayPal here to be your uh, ultimate way of collecting payments. So I'm gonna activate this, click on setup, and I'm just gonna leave this as it is. I know this is not my PayPal email address, but for demo purposes, I'm just gonna leave this as it is. So that's all you need to do. And then um, let's go back again. Uh, so let's say you want to use Stripe. So this is where you'd uh, set up Stripe. Okay, so we're ready set now. Let's go ahead and create our first sales funnel. So I'm gonna come over here to cut flows, click on flows. So what's important here is to give your sales funnel a name. So I'm just gonna delete what I have here. Right, so let's click on add new. So over here we have some templates and this helps us because it makes, us, it, makes it easy for us to just go in and import all the layouts we need and then replace that with all the uh, content that we need. So I'm gonna come and choose over here this one called Evergreen Product 2. Click on import. So it goes through the process of importing the landing page, 
the checkout page and the thank you page. Right, so let's call this let's call this Mac Funnel. But of course, in your case, you want to add a name, which is easy to remember and something that is, you know, relevant to whatever it is that you're promoting. All right. So now with that said, I'm going to click here on update. Now let's take a look. Let's take a quick look at all these pages. So I'm going to come over here click on view. And I'm also going to take a look at the checkout page and also the thank you page. So I've got these in these three different tabs. So this is our landing page. If I scroll down here, you can add your features, your logos, your reviews. And by the way, you can go in and change all this information and I'll show you how to do it. It's quite easy. Okay, and now if we click on this button here, which says get started, it'll take you to this checkout page. And right now we have the PayPal option and you can proceed to PayPal. And this is the thank you page. This will show you the order summary of what that person has bought. Great. Now let's come and customize all our products. So now that we have our sales funnel set up, you need to come over here and add the product. So I'm going to come over here, click on all products. So over here, I've gone ahead and set my product. So I have a v VIP product here. So this could be a maybe a masterclass. So I've just called it VIP and I gave you the price of $999. I've also got an ebook, which is $9. And I've got a, a 30 minute consultation package here for $247. Okay, so now that we have all our products, let's go ahead and add all our products to our sales page. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to add our main product that we are promoting, and this is the 30-minute consultation. So I'm going to come over here to my step, and I am going to add my product now. So I'm going to click here on this drop-down, and I'm just going to type in 30, and it's going to show up. So that's my 30-minute consultation. So that's my main product. Great. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to add an order bump. So I'm going to click, come over here, click enable order bump, and I'm just going to leave everything as it is. And over here on the image, in fact, you know what? Before I add the order bump, let me show you what it looks like. So I'm going to click here on update. Now I'm going to take a quick look at our checkout page. There we go. So now we have a product. So when someone comes to this page here, this is the product. If they have a coupon code, you can add the coupon code there. Click apply and they can go to PayPal. But also you can add Stripe, which means you can take payments like credit cards and debit cards. All right, great, so let's continue working on this. So let's say you want to add an order bump to that. Well, it's very straightforward. So all you have to do is to first enable it, choose the product. So this is my ebook. I'm gonna add the ebook there. And if you have a picture that I uh, mean to go with the ebook, you just have to select it here. And uh, I have some images here in my um, media library. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this image here to go with that. Click on select. And this is where you add your description for the ebook. And pretty much that's all we need to do. Now, if you want to add more uh, stylizations to this, you can come over here, add a background color, border color, and all of that. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click update. Great. So now that I've added that, let's take a quick look and see what it looks like. Boom. Okay. Now we have this order bump. So when someone comes to this page here, they can just scroll down and see, oh, okay, there's uh, this extra thing here. In fact, the good thing here is to add a price. Okay. I haven't added the price there. Let's add the price. So one time offer. So I'm just going to call this only $9. Okay. And then over here, you can also add stuff like, yeah, usually the price is whatever, whatever, whatever. But the special offer is $9. Okay, now let's check it out. And all this happens really fast. So you can see here, one-time offer, $9. Great. So the next thing you want to do here is to test and see if this is working. So now this is 247 So if I click here, that should add it. So you can see my ebook has been added. Now it's 256 So it's working fine. And then you can just proceed to PayPal. Great. Now let's see what else we can do. You can see here we have so many fields here. So if you're just selling an ebook or a a virtual product. You don't want to have all these, you know, addresses and phone number and all that kind of stuff. And uh, there's an easy way to get rid of these. So I'm going to come over here, click on checkout field. And then I'm going to come over here and click here on enable custom field editor. So all I have to do now is to click on this eye icon and just disable all the fields that we don't need. So I'm just going to go ahead, continue Remove everything here. So all I need here is the name and email address. So get rid of all the shipping details here. Click update. Now let's take a look at our checkout page. I'm going to refresh the page. And all we have is two fields. First name, email address. And you can also add some notes here if need be. So that's our checkout page. 
So let me show you something really cool. So let's say you, you have an upsell. All you have to do is to, in fact, let's update this and we're gonna come back over here to our flows. Okay, so we can add an extra step here by clicking add new. So here we have upsells. So I'm gonna click here on upsell and these are the templates for the upsells. So I'm gonna click here on import. Okay, so here it is. Now the really cool thing about cart flows is you can drag these and these will be executed in the order that they are in. So after the checkout, this is where they go. They go to the upsell. And if you want to add a downsell, you can also add another layer and that'll be your downsell. And then the final stage will be the thank you page. All right, so let's add our product. So all you have to do now is to click on edit. And let's say our product here is uh, that VIP thing. Remember that VIP that we created? So I'm just gonna come over here, expand this. So it's the VIP. I'm gonna select that, click update and I'm gonna view this. Okay, so now uh, this is my upsell. Ideally, you want to come in here and uh, customize all this, make sure that you have all your information about this uh, actual checkout page and explain everything and why they should buy it. So over here, they can click on no thanks, I'll pass, and that'll take them to back to the checkout page. But if they click on add to my order, this now will be added onto the order. Great, so we can also add a downsell as I mentioned. Now, uh, you might be thinking, okay, but this design here does not fit what I really want. So <laughs> you know what, it's quite easy and this is where the page builders come in. So you can actually go in and change all this. Yeah, in fact, I've managed to get my sales funnel up and running in less than 20 minutes, so this is amazing. Now, let me show you how you can customize and make all these changes to this page. Right, so now I'm gonna click on Enable Visual Builder. So on this upsell, now we have this visual builder. So first of all, let's get rid of this background. I'm gonna click here on this gear icon, click on background, and you can see here, this is where the background is. I'm gonna delete that. So all, I, all we have now is this background uh, thing going on. So to change that, you can come over here and we can delete that too. So now we have a plain background. I'm gonna save this. And let's say you want to add a video that helps sell this upsell. Click this plus button search for video. Okay, so by default, you're gonna have this video here as a placeholder, which is great. Now, let me show you one quick thing here. As you can see here, the thumbnail doesn't look really great because that's how it comes like uh, from YouTube. So if you come over here to overlay and click on add image, you can actually choose an image that you have here in your media library. So let's go ahead and let's say, um, let's choose this image here, upload an image. So you'll find that your video now will have a better thumbnail. And if, you don't, if you're not happy with that, you can always go back in here and uh, add another one. And let's say we're gonna go with, um, let's go with this one here. So let's say maybe the upsell is the bag, right? So you can see here that looks much better. Great, so you can actually go in and customize the size of this if you want to, but there's a lot you can do. So as you can see here with a few clicks, I was able to come in here and change a few things. So let's say uh, there's more things you wanna add. You can always come in here, click this plus button, add your rows. And uh, let's say it's testimonials. You can always, uh, okay, let's add them to the right here. Search for your testimonial module and you can start adding your testimonials. So the name here, let's call Sky Jack, and the media here, this is where you type in all the, I mean the testimonial. On the image, this is where you add your image. So you have to upload it from your computer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this because I already have it. And you can see here that we've uh, quickly added our testimonial. That is how you can go in and customize all these pages. So the same applies to the landing page or the main page. You just have to go in and make changes on the front end of the builder. Now, one of the most important things that I think Cardflows has really changed the sales funnels game in WordPress is allowing us to import and export our funnels. So imagine this, let's say you've created a funnel, it's working really well and you want to share it. So you can actually export that funnel and share it with um, you know, whoever you want. Perhaps you may even sell it, you know, because I've seen this happening with uh, click funnels. So I think this is an exciting feature. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is the ability to use cart flows with your major page builders. So you can use this with Divi, 
Elementor, Beaver Builder, and uh, last time I checked on the website, they're actually introducing the new Gutenberg Builder. So this is really powerful. It means everyone now has access to create the sales funnels. So let's say you want to add a brand new funnel. So all you have to do is to click here on cut flows. It takes you to your main flows. So all you have to do now is to click on add new. And then you can just choose a template. And this, wor this works as your starting point, your base level. And then you can just go in and start changing all this information. But if you want to create your own from scratch and you're a bit of an advanced designer, you can always come over here and click on create your own. And then you can start your workflow. Right, the other thing that I want to show you as well is you can import and export. So let's say uh, someone is selling a funnel that works really well. You can always uh, come over here and import it. So in this case, we have our funnel here. Let me show you how you can export it. Very simple. You, all you have to do is to click here on export and it's downloaded here on my computer. And um, when it's time to import it, so now that I've exported it, let me uh, pretend that this is a brand new funnel. So all you have to do now is to click on import, choose file, this is my downloads folder, there it is. Okay, I've just downloaded it, double click on that, import. Okay, now it's telling me successfully imported flows. And to prove that it works, if I come over here and click on edit, you can see here we have our landing page, checkout page, upsell, and thank you page. The one thing that I was surprised to see when I started using Cartflows is the ability to create unlimited funnels. Now, I know in Cartflows they call them flows, but I'm just using funnels because this is the name we're used to in the market. So we just call them sales funnels. Uh, you hardly hear sales flows, right? So that's why I'm calling them funnels. So with cut flows, you can actually create unlimited on your website. So you can create as many as you want. You can have all these steps uh, within each funnel. So you can have upsells, downsells, as many of them as possible. But of course, you want to use them with caution because you don't want to make the whole system very, very complicated. So... This ability to create unlimited funnels means you can test different items on your specific website or even have different funnels for specific occasions. Like let's say, for example, it's Black Friday and you have a promotion. You can send all your traffic to a specific funnel and that could be one of your funnels. Let's say you have a promotion which is other than Black Friday. Again, you can have that separate promotion. Uh, it could be you have a brand new product that you want to test. Again, you know, these are all funnels that you can create within your business. Now, the other area that I think is great, but uh, I think a lot more work could be done is the analytics. So you can actually go and take a look at your analytics, how your funnels are performing, how your order bumps are performing. So I think that's very good, but I think there need to be more work to be done on these analytics. I mean, there could be a better way of showing them and maybe perhaps use some graphs, you know, make it really, really, really look cool. I know I'm just being petty, but I like to see, you know, things visually. And that's what I would say in regards to the analytics. Okay, so let's say you want to see how your funnels are performing. Well, there's an option here where you can click this button and see how your funnel is performing. So as you can see, as we were building this, it shows me how many times I've visited the landing page, the checkout page, the upsells, and so on. But here's the thing. If, you have been, if you've been making money with this uh, sales funnel, it will show you your gross sale, um, average order value, you can also view this in uh, the last month, last week, today. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is the pricing. So when it comes to the pricing, I think they've priced this very well because you pay once a year and uh, every year you have to renew uh, this for updates and also support. So when it expires, let's say after a year, it doesn't mean that all your funnels go. It just means that you won't have any updates from that point onwards, which is fantastic. Like Unlike other systems where if you start paying, everything shuts down, all your funnels are gone, everything stops working. So that's a plus on Cardflow. <sighs> right. In my opinion, Cardflows is fantastic because it allows you to create sales and marketing funnels on your existing website. Now, there's a few things, of course, when it comes to products, uh, it can't be 100%, you know, so I do have um, something that you may need to consider here. So first of all is the learning curve. Um, if you haven't used WordPress before, it's going to be a bit challenging for you because there's a few things that you have to learn. So first of all, you have to understand how WordPress works, uh, how to install the plugins because you're going to need WooCommerce 
and also the hosting you have to use a hosting company that is solid a hosting company that provides you know good support and i have all those tips for you so it's not always bad because you know what i've got you covered so here's the deal if you buy cart flows using my affiliate link i will give you access to my course which will teach you everything that you need to know in order for you to set up a website that is optimized to run cart flows create all your funnels and i will also teach you how to use cart flows itself and also wordpress so pretty much all the training that you need if you're a beginner is all covered because i cover all that in the course so all you have to do is to buy cart flows using my affiliate link and the link is in the description below. All right, so tell me what you think. Have you used Cartflows before? What other uh, softwares do you use for your sales funnels? I'd like to know. And uh, tell me what you think about this new software that, um, that allows you to build sales funnels in WordPress.